Hey everybody! I have been a little under the weather these last few days, but the human body still absolutely amazes me. Last week I took a road trip up to Northern California where I grew up and my family currently is. It's about a nine hour drive or so depending on uh, how quickly you go. <laughs> Um, I went up there to visit some family and see an elderly grandmother of mine, and being up there just, you know, it gives you all the nostalgia, and um, it was a good reminder of country life as well. Having moved down to San Diego a handful of months ago now, being in a city, it allowed me the ability to have a newfound appreciation of of the country life, you know, seeing all the open space and the cows on the, the side of the road and, and all of the things that really reminded me of a slower paced living and um, more connection to nature as well. Remy, of course, went along with me and wanted to play any chance that she was able. This is my grandmother's little pup. His name is Toby. Uh, this dog is a ball of energy. Here is the full moon. Um, it was really beautiful that night. And my mom has a lemon tree that was absolutely covered with lemons. She hasn't had too much of a chance lately to be able to attend to her garden, so I wanted to help her out a little bit, and we picked some lemons and got some of the the weight off of some of the branches of the tree, and I like to zest lemons and juice them, and you can freeze the juice in little ice cube trays so you can have it um, for later use as well. I really like putting lemon into uh, water and doing a warm, warm lemon water in the mornings. It took us a little while, but we did get quite a few lemons picked. Filled up two paper bags full and were able to give some away as well. Growing up, I had access to wild blackberries that grew right along the lane. And every year, right around August and September, the blackberries were ready to be picked. And it just so happened that I was there at harvest season this time. So my mom and I went down and we picked some blackberries. It was towards the end of the season, but we were able to get a few. It was so wonderful having these available when I was younger. Here is a very basic salad recipe that I make. Um, even when I'm out and about traveling, um, this is very basic and easy to make. So I'll grate up some carrot. Um, you can use a food processor or a little grater as I did here. And then you just put some lettuce, your favorite lettuce, on your plate. Add some chopped up cucumber, red cabbage, bean, um, your shredded carrot, and then you can make a dressing. I did add some tomato to the salad later on as well. The dressing that I make that is super simple and easy is uh, just lemon juice. You can use uh, fresh lemons if you have them, get lemons at the store. Um, but just lemon juice and some tahini. And then I like to add a little bit of maple syrup so that it's slightly sweet. Mix those together and um, you can add a little bit of water to get the right consistency if needed. I usually do about one to two lemons. Um, the lemons that I was using here today weren't as juicy, so I used two. Um, but if you have a juicy lemon, just do one. And then about a quarter cup 
of tahini and mm, about a tablespoon of maple syrup and then any um, extra water if needed. And then that is your dressing that you pour over your salad and you are good to go. Like I was saying before, being up in Northern California again was such a good reminder to me to slow back down. Even sometimes when we think we are moving slow, we might think that, um, or we might think we are moving slow, <laughs> but over these last couple years or so, I feel like, um, I get to a place where I'm like, okay, I've definitely slowed down. And then there's this whole next layer of another layer slowing down. So this was such a good reminder to me to stop and smell the roses. In this case, hibiscus flowers. But since my mom hasn't had too much of a chance uh, to be in her garden, the rosemary um, was very abundant. <laughs> so I spent a little bit of time pruning back some of the rosemary. I wasn't able to get to all of it, but it started at least. This is such a wonderful thing to do in the evenings, in my opinion. After a day full of things, to go out in the evening, get outside into nature, and and get connected back to nature, really. Fall is certainly upon us. These are some plum trees that my parents have as well. They are fruitless uh, plum trees, um, but the color of the leaves are just so beautiful to me, um, and even just the moss that grows on the trees as well. Something that I aim to do on a daily basis is to watch the sunset. I used to be really, really good at this, watching the sunrise and the sunset every day. Um, I haven't been able to do it as much lately, but being able to watch the sunset every evening is such a calming and therapeutic way to reset our own circadian rhythm and bring in that feeling of connection and peacefulness. I spent a lot of time up in Northern California with my grandmother. She just turned 91 years old. And it was such 
a reminder and an eye-opening experience to see how different our world has become over the years. Um, everything is so fast-paced and we forget the importance of slowing down and simply being connected to the people that we're around and really being there with them, completely present and without the hustle and the bustle and feeling as if we need to be somewhere else instead of right where we are and remembering the importance of genuine connection. And coming back to San Diego, while the sunsets here are just as beautiful, it was such a good reminder going up there to bring some of these remembered lessons back with me. While San Diego is certainly a busier, faster-paced area with a lot more people, it will be interesting to see how I'm able to cultivate even more presence and slowness while I'm here. Coming out to the ocean will certainly help with that. Thank you for being here and for watching my videos. I hope you enjoy them. And please feel free to always leave a comment below. I love to hear from you guys. And if you like my videos, click the little like button as well. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button. It allows me the ability to create more videos here on this channel. Thank you again for being here. And I will see you in the next video.